We hope that you read up on the vocabulary and the terminology of the different physics terms that help make this Ferris wheel go round. But if you haven't done that yet, I recommend pausing the video and taking a read through that. It's going to help you a lot in kind of understanding how um, the Ferris wheel works and kind of what we're talking about in the video. But if you have read the vocabulary and looked through the physics terms, great. You'll be really, you'll have a little bit more understanding of how this wheel actually works. So we're actually going to talk about how the physics um, the physics and the science behind Ferris wheels by using our 3D printed Ferris wheel. Our 4-H members made this a few years back for the Clay County Agricultural Fair and it's usually always in the 4-H project. If you think about a Ferris wheel, it actually rotates at a, at a really consistent speed unless it's stopped at the bottom to let passengers on and off. When you are in motion on a Ferris wheel, what you are experiencing is velocity. Velocity is essentially just speed with a direction. As you are moving along the Ferris wheel, you may feel that your body's weight is changing. Your body's apparent weight, to pin, your body's apparent weight pending where you're at in the Ferris wheel will change. So if you're at the top of the Ferris wheel, you may feel lighter. When you're at the bottom of the fer Ferris wheel, you may feel heavier. When you're at the top of the Ferris wheel, the centripetal acceleration or the force that keeps a smaller object orbiting a bigger object is pointing directly down. When you're at the bottom of the wheel, the centripetal acceleration is facing up. The force that you feel at the top of the wheel is called F1. F1 is calculated mass times gravity minus acceleration. When you are descending on the Ferris wheel, this is where the ride gets really exciting. It's because you're experiencing F1, F2, which is the force we'll talk about in a minute, the rotation of the wheel and the weight are combined. And this causes a greater acceleration or a g-force that makes you feel heavier. At the bottom of the wheel, when you experience F2, F2 is calculated mass times gravity plus acceleration. That's a little bit of the physics and science behind the, how a Ferris wheel works and why we feel our weight kind of shift as we move up and down the ride. The next time you ride a Ferris wheel at the midway, see if you notice your weight changes as you're moving along the Ferris wheel ride. We'd like to thank Observation Wheel Directory for allowing us to explain how the physics behind Ferris wheels work.